Ukraine is a few steps away from EU accession. The parties will soon approve the negotiation framework and start negotiations. The candidate country must comply with European legislation. Negotiations are taking place on 35 separate chapters, which reflect the 35 spheres of our country's integration into the European Union. This includes tax legislation, customs legislation, human rights and a variety of other things. There is a rather large list of everything that needs to be done, 35 of these chapters. Once this process is completed, we are waiting for the closing of negotiations and a big decision on Ukraine's accession to the European Union. The Ukrainian Prime Minister is sure that in addition to fulfilling the EU conditions, Ukraine has something to offer Brussels. For example, the Ukrainian army having real combat experience can become the basis for the security of the EU, Denis Shmahal believes. Look at our defense and military sector. Ukraine is a hub of military and defense technologies, produces new high-tech equipment and we have the potential to be the European shield, the European arsenal and strengthen the defense capacities of the EU. Denis Shmihal, Prime Minister of Ukraine, in an interview with Euractiv. Ukraine can bring more stability to the global food market and become the energy center of Europe. Ukraine's infrastructure has withstood massive Russian shelling. The country has managed to develop its own resource extraction. We survived through two very difficult winters when Russia terrorized our energy infrastructure, but we still have a surplus in our energy system and we may supply clean green energy to the European market. We have one of the biggest on the continent underground gas storage on Ukrainian territory, 33 billion cubic meters, in very secure conditions which many European companies already use right now. We could increase this capacity for them up to 10 to 15 billion cubic meters. Denis Shmahal, Prime Minister of Ukraine, in an interview with Euractiv. Along with Ukraine's accession process to the EU, the European support program for Kyiv continues. The Cabinet of Ministers of Ukraine has approved the Ukraine Facility Plan, which will form the basis of the financial support program until 2027. According to the plan, 50 billion euros will be spent on public sector reforms, changes in the economy to improve the business climate and ensure rapid economic growth. The principles that we have laid down in this document together with our partners will become the foundation for the implementation of a number of reforms and will contribute to dynamic development. I would like to know that the Ukraine Facility Plan is not a comprehensive state development strategy, but the fulfillment of the indicators set out in it will help to significantly strengthen the sustainability of the national economy. Yulia Svredenko, first Deputy Prime Minister of Ukraine, Minister of Economy of Ukraine, from the message on the website of the Cabinet of Ministers of Ukraine. Joining the e EU is one of the main requests of Ukrainian society. According to the results of opinion polls, 84% of respondents want Ukraine to become a member of the EU. At the same time, the level of support of European integration is steadily increasing. In December 2022, it was 79%. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Larisa Zubenko, UATV News.